free from contamination, an essential subject from Vinipedia to be fully engaged in hearing the transcendental narration described in the text of Srimad Bhagavatam means to constantly associate with the Supreme Soul, our Krishna, and to constantly associate with the Supreme Lord Krishna means to be liberated from the qualities of matter. Lord Krishna is like the sun, and material contamination is like darkness. As the presence of the sun dissipates darkness, constant engagement in the association of the Lord our Krishna frees one from the contamination of the material qualities. Contamination by the material qualities is the cause of repeated birth and death, and freedom from material qualities is transcendence. Srila Prabhupada's books, lectures, conversations and letters offer a comprehensive presentation of this essential subject as seen in the Vinikots free from contamination category. An introduction from his books is given below in the following eight quotes. Quotes from Srila Prabhupada's books One should approach a bona fide guru to inquire about the highest benefit of life. Such a guru is described as follows. Tam. Such a guru does not manufacture gold or juggle words. He is well versed in the conclusions of Vedic knowledge. Vedika Sarvaraham Eva Vedya, BG 15.15. He is freed from all material contamination and is fully engaged in Krishna's service. If one is able to obtain the dust of the lotus feet of such a guru, his life becomes successful. Otherwise he is baffled both in this life and in the next. Srimad Bhagavatam 5.14.13 One who is promoted to the transcendental position, Brahma Bh Ta, SB 4.30.20, is always jubilant, prasantiam. He is unaffected by the false distinctions between good and bad in the material world. Therefore, such an exalted person is Sama Sarvu Bhtu. That is to say, he is equal toward everyone, not distinguishing between friend and enemy. Because he is on the absolute platform, free from material contamination, he is called Partma Bhta or Brahma Bhta. Srimad Bhagavatam 9.8 13. Becoming fully Krishna conscious, one is freed from all dualities and thus is free from the contaminations of the material modes. He can become liberated because he knows his constitutional position in relationship with Krishna, and thus his mind cannot be drawn from Krishna consciousness. Consequently, whatever he does, he does for Krishna, who is the primeval view. Bhagavad GT 4.23, better than the Bhārhma who knows the purpose of the Vedas is he who can dissipate all doubts, and better than him is one who strictly follows the Brahminical principles. Better than him is one who is liberated from all material contamination, and better than him is a pure devotee, who executes devotional service without expectation of reward. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.29 32. Everyone has a chance to become purified by associating with this Krishna consciousness movement and strictly following the rules and regulations. By chanting the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra, one can become free from all contamination, especially contamination brought about by the killing of animals. Kaitanya Karatam Ta, Madhya LL 24.252, by following in the footsteps of the great Sirius, one associates with the Hasas or Paramahasas, those who are completely freed from material contamination. Indeed, by following the instructions of the Sirius one is always freed from all material contamination, and thus one's life becomes successful, for one reaches the goal of life. This material world is miserable, regardless of one's standard of life. Srimad Bhagavatam 7.9.18 Constant thought of the Lord is the antiseptic method for keeping oneself free from the infectious contamination of the material qualities. The pure devotee of the Lord is always in company with the Lord by thinking of Him. Yet, in the particular context of time and place, the transcendental emotions take a different turn, and this breaks the mental equilibrium of the devotee. Lord Kaitanya displayed the typical example of transcendental ecstasy, as we can understand from the life of this incarnation of God. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.1.32 Everyone always desires to possess something. It is said here that desire and greed are the products of false identification of oneself with the body. When one becomes free from this contamination, then his mind and consciousness also become freed and attain their original state. Mind, consciousness and the living entity exist. Whenever we speak of the living entity, this includes the mind and consciousness. The difference between conditional life and liberated life occurs when we purify the mind and the consciousness. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25.16